Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So, as you can tell by the outfit, it's still the same day. So I just thought I should just go ahead and uh, make an intro for this video that I'm making today. Since I am about to start cutting out this fabric. So I'm going to be making this Simplicity X Meiji pattern, which is 8655 and I got it in a size 6 to 14. So I'm going to be making the view B, which is this um, straight legged pant. Yeah, the one that she's wearing in the white and I'm going to cut size 8 this is the fabric that I'm going to be using which is a cotton twill I got about 2 meters of it and this is um, a stretchy cotton twill and it's one of those 60 inches long fabrics so I'll probably make 2 of them and I'm also going to be using a fusible interfacing for the facing of the pens. So it has like a waist facing. And I also have like an invisible zipper. And last but not least, I'm going to be using a matching thread as well. So these are all the things that I'm going to be using. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the pattern pieces that I'm going to cut out. So I've cut out all the pattern pieces that I want and here they are. So I have pattern piece number 6 which is the pocket. I've cut out 2. Pattern piece number 7 which is the front facing and I've cut out 1 of fabric and 1 of interfacing and I cut it on fold. Pattern piece number 8 which is the back facing. I also cut it on fold and I also cut 2. One fabric and one interfacing. Pattern piece number 4 which is the front. I cut out 2 of fabric. And pattern piece number five, which is the back, I also cut out two of a brick. So one change that I'm going to make on these pens are these front and back pin tucks. I'm not going to include them, but I will still have my dots. So here, these are all the pattern pieces. So here are all my fabric pieces. I have the front and back facing with interface. I already ironed on the interface. And I have two pockets. So it's two of them and then I have two pieces, two back pieces and then two front pieces and I've already marked my dots. And I was right about this fabric, it was way too much. So I managed to use only like half of this fabric so if this works I'm definitely going to make another pair because I still have like half of the fabric. So I got two meters, I only managed to use about one meter for these pieces so this will be for my next pant so first i'm going to work on the pocket pieces i have two of them here and the pattern piece here which i've already uh, measured how big the fold line is so it's about three centimeters so i'm going to fold in three centimeters on the right side of the fabric so i'm going to fold it like this i'm going to stitch around and around and around using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and I'm also going to do the same on the other pocket so first I'm going to trim off the corners here and then I'm going to turn them around right sides out so, so now I'm going to press up here and also press along the seam line around and also the bottom so i'm going to press both of them and this is how my pockets are looking after pressing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stitch on the right side i saw this on mimi j so a long video i'm going to have two lines going across here on the opening and then i'll also do one line going around on both of them and then the second line that will go around will be the one that I will be joining the pocket piece to the pent uh, back pieces so this is how the final pockets are looking are looking great I actually did the lines with the chalk and a ruler first so that I can get them straight and they're not looking that bad so before I attach the pockets to the back pieces I'm first going to do the dots and I'll also do the dots on the front pieces as well. So I'm done stitching all my dots and I already pressed them flat. And this is how they are looking on the outside, on the right side. And this is how they're looking on the inside. So I did all four dots for all the pieces. So now I'm taking one of the back pieces. 
I already marked the dots from the pattern and I'm going to place the pocket right here on these dots. And I'm just gonna pin it around. So like I said, I'm not doing the pin tags. So if you're doing the pin tags, you will definitely do them before attaching the pockets, but I'm not doing that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pin this pocket around. And now that my pocket is pinned, I'm going to go ahead and stitch right on the edge, going around all the way up here. I'm not going to stitch here because this is the opening. And I'm also going to do the same on the other back piece as well. So this is how my pockets are looking. They're done, both of them. And they're looking great. So I went ahead and stitched on the edge on both of them. And now they're attached to the back pieces. So now I have the front and the back piece, right sides facing, and I'm going to pin around the inseams, which is here, from the crotch all the way going down. And I'll do the same on the other one as well, and I'm also making sure that I match my notches here. So now that I'm done pinning, I'm going to go ahead and stitch around here using 5 eighths of an inch. And I'll also do the same on the other pair. So now I'm done stitching the inseams. I also trimmed away half of the access seam allowance and finish it with a zigzag stitch going all the way down. So now I am going to take both pieces with right sides facing. so and i'm going to join the from the crotch area all the way up matching the notches on both sides so the front pieces they have like um two notches and then the back they have three notches so i'm going to pin everything starting from the crotch area So now that I have everything pinned, I'm going to go ahead and stitch around using 5 eighths of an inch. And after that, I'll also trim the access, like half of the access seam allowance. And then I'll finish everything with a zigzag stitch, just like how I did with the inseams. So now I am done stitching um, the crotch area and I also finished it as well with the zigzag stitch. So now I am going to join the sides. So here I've pinned together my right um, front and back pieces on the side here, all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch around here. And then once I'm done stitching, I'm going to trim off the seam allowance, just like I did with the crotch and also the inseams, and then finish it with a zigzag. And then on the left side, that's where I'm going to uh, touch the invincible zipper. So here I'm done with the right side. I actually fitted and it's fitting perfectly. So I did trim the axis seam allowance and finish it with a zigzag. And now I'm going to work on the left side. So right on this notch, this is where the zip is gonna end. So I'm gonna start pinning from here, going all the way down. So 
So now I am done pinning from the notch going all the way down. So I'm going to stitch again from the notch going all the way down. And then once I'm done, I'm going to finish it. But I will make sure I don't touch this area as yet. So I will also trim off the excess in my allowance. But leave it on this side because I'm going to use it for the zip. But I'm going to finish this side. So once I'm done uh, with this side, I will also go ahead and zigzag this ones separately before I attach the zipper. So now I'm done joining together the left side. I also trimmed off the access similar ones, half of it, and uh, did a zigzag to finish the stitches. But I left this nine inch from that notch that was here, and I did zigzag them separately. So this is where I'm going to attach my zip. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pin these two pieces together. So now I'm going to go ahead and base stitch. Once I'm done base stitching, I'm gonna open the stitches, press them flat. So now I'm done pressing, my seam allowance is open and it's flat. So I'm taking my zipper right side, facing the um, seams. So I'm going to place it like this. So first I'm going to base stitch here and here, on only on the seam allowance, not on the pants. and I changed to my zipper foot. This is just a regular zipper footer. So now I'm going to place the zip on the right side. I'm going to start with the right side. And then while I am stitching, I'm also going to open it. So this is my zipper done. It can open and close easily. So I'm done with that. So now I am going to work on the facing pieces. I have the back one on top of the front one. So I'm going to stitch here using 5 eighth of an inch. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna press my stitch open and then do a zigzag. So now taking my facing piece, I'm going to pin it together with the pants, making sure that I'm aligning the notches. So now I've pinned together the facing and the pants right side facing, and I'm going to stitch together starting from um, to the top of the zipper, just right on top of the zipper stitching all the way around so now i'm done joining the facing to the pants i'm going to turn the facing over and then hold on to the seam allowance and then under stitch right on the facing making sure i'm also stitching on the seam allowance on the other side so i'm going to under stitch right here so now i'm done under stitching the facing to the seam allowance this is how it looks so now i am going to fold this piece here down to the zipper okay, let me pin it so i'm going to stitch together the facing to the zipper on the wrong side like so stitch right down here so i'm going to use my zipper for two stitch here because i want it to be as close to the teeth as possible 
and I'll also do the same on the other side. So now I'm just taking my scissors, I'm going to cut off the corner here. And so this is how my waist is looking. Everything is done, looking good. So the only thing left now is to hem the bottom. But first I'm going to fit them. I will first see how they fit me because I am short. And I actually want them to be a little bit cropped, not too long all the way to the ankles. So I went ahead and tried them on. They look great, like they look amazing so the length is a little bit of a problem for what i'm going for it's too long i want it to be like cropped so i'm cutting off two inches and then i'm going to create a one inch hemline so it's going to be three inches total that i'm going to get rid of and they look amazing i can't wait for you guys to see them once i'm done